What was the culture shock that you experienced when you first came to the Netherlands? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, culture shock. Hmm. Well, one of the first ones that come to my mind is the Dutch directness and uh, just the style of doing business. I'm sure you've heard, not the, not the first one to tell you, oh, Dutch people are direct. But I would say they have a very unique ability to say something borderline rude, but the Dutch people do it with such confidence and actually positive attitude, so you don't even get offended. You're like, okay, let's move on. But I personally actually really like that quality about them and um, I appreciate their communication. It helps a lot, especially in business environment. You, at least during the meeting, you always know that you're gonna get feedback and you know you can that actually can help you solve this issue and both parties will achieve the desired result. Uh, I find Dutch people are very direct and they can be brutally honest sometimes. Uh, their uh, tell it like they see it mentality uh, was something really shocking to me. For example, if you ask a Dutch friend or colleague whether uh, that shirt look good on you or not, while it isn't, uh, there is a chance that uh, they're going to give you a a friendly advice to return it to the store while you still can't and I actually I really like it when people are honest but it can take quite a bit of time to uh, adjust to it when you're new in the Netherlands 5 30 it's time to go home so in the Netherlands um, you have a very uh, good work-life balance uh, so you work hard during the eight hours that you are at the office, but uh, when it's time to go home, it's time to go home to enjoy your family, to enjoy your pets, to enjoy your hobbies. So I was very surprised how people are uh, attentive to their uh, personal schedule and to their own personal time. Well, before coming here, I had heard that Dutch are not hospitable. Um, and but maybe because Dutch people are quite interested in foreign cultures or it might be that I was just very lucky but I find that they invite uh, home quite a lot I even find it hard to keep up sometimes um, maybe in my home country the expectations to the hostess are so high that we eventually end up inviting less in the Netherlands everyone is so informal even at work people is so approachable and easy to speak with I was not used to it. Uh, where I came from, you treat everyone that you know, don't know in a very formal way. So I was a bit shocked about the Dutch informality at work and in your daily life. You know, I thought it was um, strange when I first moved here that they were so obsessed with like, um, you know, candy sprinkles like really sweet stuff for breakfast and I mean as an American like we have a lot of that too like mm -hmm. syrup and you know like pastries for breakfast but like this is straight up sprinkles with butter on a piece of bread um hogeslock that was yeah. totally shocking to me oh my god Yes, I have to agree. <laughs> but the first thing for me was actually when I went house hunting and mm -hmm. there was like only one toilet for the rest, for everybody in the house. Mm -hmm. Now where I come from, there is, there is like a toilet with every bedroom. So that was for me like, how can you share a toilet? That's disgusting. It's messed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like more bathrooms as well. But I mean, you get used to it too with a, a bit of the smaller ones yeah. after a while. Yeah. What strikes me the most would be how punctual the Dutch people are. I mean, by punctual, I mean uh, getting to the meeting uh, 10 or 15 minutes before the actual starting time, which is quite the contrary to Vietnamese people, where we would go 10 or 15 minutes later um, just to be on time with everyone. It is just an incredible habit which I was able to pick up on. So if it's sunny, it's very common that people will take the day off and go to the beach or go to the park and enjoy themselves. So um, when it's a sunny day, when we have a sunny day uh, in the Netherlands, you see a lot of people out there. Um, 
In Portugal, when we have a sunny day, it's just one more sunny day, so we don't treat it as something special, but here every sunny day, it's a special day and you go out and you enjoy. For me, it was the size of the stairs. Uh, my feet are like way bigger than the um, stair steps, so yeah. um, it was, yeah, it took a bit of... to kind of like walk sideways up. <laughs> yeah, like it took a bit of getting used to, uh, yeah. to actually, yeah, walk up the stairs normally. Because it has to do with the space available for housing in this country, so they're kind of built like upwards. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Another one I would mention is the absence of food culture. Don't get me wrong, I'm well aware that we have an amazing bitter ball and croquettes um, and herring, but um, I, because I lived in France before and food in France is everything. You basically, you plan your whole day. It's like breakfast is this, then you have to have lunch and a certain time and then a dinner, you have to have it with your family. And it's, yeah, your life is around food, you know? If it's Christmas, you need to prepare these dishes. And uh, if it's uh, Easter, you buy your chocolate. And in the Netherlands, it's just, well, we eat mashed potato in the evening and the dinner at 6.30, so, and the lunch is super efficient. Let's just get our sandwich, so I get my energy, my carbs, my nutrition, and I just go and move on with my day. So yeah, it's a bit, um, it, was a, it was different, but um, yeah, I ended up having more free time for, to actually do other hobbies and not only planning my meals. I had my birthday a while ago when I was still an intern at Octagon. In my defense, uh, it was the first time that I experienced the office setting, so I was still navigating through all the office etiquettes. Um, so on my birthday, when Quentin asked me, where is your cake? I was astonished. I was like, "Why? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, do I have to bring my own cake? Uh, so after that, I came home and I kind of flipped through my uh, integrating to Dutch culture dictionary. And I found out that I sh was expected to uh, buy and bring my own cake to the party. Now I also learned that it was not really appropriate to expect someone else to buy my cake for my birthday and there's no way I can avoid this tradition quietly. 